World experts on healthcare have been meeting in London to discuss the next big global epidemic, non-communicable diseases. The Global Health Lab Symposium heard why illnesses like heart disease, cancer, stroke, hypertension and diabetes are sweeping the world. Non-communicable diseases are going to be the next great public health epidemic that faces this planet and we are simply not addressing them in anywhere like the kind of way we need to if we're going to get control of them. We need to create a social movement around non-communicable diseases. We need to roll back the clock to what happened at the beginning of the AIDS epidemic and realise that nothing less than that kind of global social response is going to be necessary if we're really going to get a grip around control and defeat this epidemic which is killing people when they do not need to die. The overall aim of the Global Health Lab is to move forward the research agenda and to raise awareness of uh, particularly important issues which have been thus far neglected. We've been measuring child health, maternal health, which are all also important, but we have been missing mortality illness in adults, which is where the non-communicable diseases are striking. We're now recognising that we actually have had a hidden epidemic on our hands and we haven't been responding to it. This very special symposium held at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine heard from the key international experts. Well, we've had some absolutely fantastic speakers. Uh, to start with, we've had Alison Beattie, who's been telling us the Department for International Development's perspective on NCDs. And the truth is, the truth is that although DFID is a fantastic supporter of global health, it is rather ambivalent when it comes to NCDs because it's not seen as a major cause of poverty, which is the UK government's focus. But then we had Philip James coming in saying that's completely wrong, that actually issues around food and nutrition are central to health in low and middle income countries. And finally, David Stuckler came in and said, this is a matter of politics, it's a matter of social movements, it's a matter of mobilization, and that's what we have to look to for the future. Young people leading on this issue. When we look at the way in which we measure global health, we do surveys of maternal health, of child health, but the deaths of adults have not been recorded in large parts of the world. It's a scandal of ignorance. So now that we're realizing this enormous burden and growing burden, we need to do something about it. First of all, it's a complete myth that non-communicable diseases are diseases of the rich. One of the main burdens for non-communicable diseases, 80% of mortality of non-communicable diseases takes place in 23 middle-income countries, India, China, South Africa, Russia, countries like that. But also increasingly, we're seeing new epidemics of non-communicable disease sweep across sub-Saharan Africa and poorer parts of Asia. So this is a global problem. 